What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got a desk setup accessories video for 2022. It's like a guide that shows you some products in different categories that you can add to your workflow or setup, whether it's for productivity or for leisure, to be able to enhance your overall experience because you guys know I absolutely love desk setups and that has been a huge focus of the channel over the years. Whether it's peripherals, chargers, microphones, desk mats, or even cable management accessories. And I also wanna give a huge thanks to HP for sponsoring a portion of this video. Video. This video is going to showcase it all and if you guys would like to win a product from this video for your desk setup Just go ahead and drop a like on this video Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below with your favorite item and what would benefit your setup the most And also leave your Instagram username down below and follow me over on Instagram at justin.tse Because that's going to be where we contact the winner in three weeks for those who are also wondering when the setup makeover series is going to be coming back, I'm definitely trying to bring it back sometime soon, but as I mentioned before, the issue is to do with inventory. Whether it's furniture or tech, it just took way too long to get the products in, and for the person we're doing the makeover for, it would take like three to four months start to finish, which just didn't really make sense for anyone. So I'm definitely planning to bring that series back because it was so popular. But I am also thinking of doing like a virtual setup makeover series where you guys can go ahead and send me a picture of your setup as well as all of your dream products and I'll put together like a specific design and product list as well as a realistic rendering just to help you visualize your dream setup and to allow everyone to gain some inspiration from the whole like case study process. As always, all the products are gonna be linked down below, but let's just go ahead and get started with the first accessory. So one of the newest accessories to my home desk setup is the BenQ Screen Bar Halo. There are a lot of different screen bars out there that mount on the monitor, provide ambient or offset lighting, and a lot of them come in at a lot cheaper price point than this. I believe this right here is about $180 and they're able to get the job done but for my own personal desk setup I definitely wanted to go ahead and check out the best and the reason why I need this is because I'm actually in the master bedroom of my condo and there are no additional lights in the ceiling it is just concrete and you're meant to have like different lamps and even though I do have like a lamp in this room it just isn't enough light when I'm working at night and so I can't really see what's going on on the keyboard or on the color grading panel so having like a light like this is just able to like offset that and illuminate the entire workspace but some of the unique features that you have right here is the brightness control as well as the temperature control there's also a sensor that is built in and it also lights up on the front and back while ensuring that the light doesn't reflect back onto your monitor or display it works on all sorts of monitors it clips on the top very easily and I would say it's kind of a trade-off of something that is very functional and um, while on the look side it is as good as it can look but I wouldn't say it's like aesthetic pleasing but they've made it as seamless as possible this wireless controller puck though with all the features that I just mentioned is really nice so I can just like sit it down it's angled perfectly made out of metal the mechanics and everything are nice and I just go ahead and touch this and it will turn on the light I can just adjust the brightness the temp have it in the auto mode as I mentioned and typically I have it set to like a very like cool function probably around like a 5500 Kelvin range just because I have to reference the display when I'm color grading as accurately as possible so by having that offset lighting it at least reduces a bit of the direct eye strain that I might get from these very bright XDR displays. It is powered via USB-A so just plug it into the back of your computer but I would have liked to have seen that cable been USB-C because we are in 2022. So another accessory that I can definitely recommend for anyone who is looking to like spice up or improve their entire home office or desk setup is an ambient light. And there's many options out there including ones that are like the vertical strips, there's also the Hue Play that is just like the light bar that can go on the back of a monitor, but one that is able to give you like a widespread ambience is this right here and that is like an ambient pod. It has the white settings as well as the RGB settings that you can control all within like the Philips Hue network from your smartphone, but the best part about it is that you can use it in many different ways. One way that I use it when I'm doing like color grading at night is as like offset lighting. Instead of just having like a fully pitch black room, which definitely causes quite a bit of eye strain, I like to have like an offset light that just bounces off the wall at like a very cool white temperature just to kind of even out the whole room. At the same time, if you want to kind of set a vibe, you can turn it to like an orange, a blue, or red, all the different colors on the RGB spectrum. So for anyone who's like familiar with the Philips Hue network or already has existing Hue products, this is like a very good uh, addition. And this form factor right here specifically is good for anyone who has like their desk up against the wall where you can just kind of put it behind the monitor and it's just completely invisible and gives off a very wide blue. It's about 520 lumens and I've been seeing it on sale quite recently. 
So for those who love having like a coffee and tea at their desk, this accessory is the Ember Mug 2. It's a product that's been around for quite a while and I've wanted to check it out, but I felt like the price was a bit on the expensive side. So I recently found one like on a pretty good discount. And so I decided to pick it up and I could see why it is one of the most popular options out there. If you guys have seen in our budget tech episode, we've actually featured like a coaster warmer that was like $15, but there was definitely a few flaws beyond its fundamentals. But the Ember Mug 2 has a few very smart features. First off, the mug itself actually has a battery built in. And with the 10 ounce cup, you can actually keep your drink warm with the battery built in alone for about an hour and a half. As soon as you place it on the coaster though, it is able to keep your drink between 120 and 145 Fahrenheit. And you just go ahead and set that function on the app itself. Whether or not it's worth its hefty price tag, that is totally up to you, but people spend a lot of money on coffee. So if you're making your coffee at home and wanna be able to keep it warm while you're on a conference call, if you're like me who gets distracted very easily, and just like abandons the coffee for quite a few hours, then this is probably an accessory that you might want to look into. So when it comes to like a great productivity keyboard and mouse, it is also really suitable for creators out there. One that I've been using recently is from HP and I want to give a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So starting out with the HP 975 dual mode wireless keyboard that has a really sleek and minimal design, but at the same time has a lot of excellent features that I'm sure creatives out there value and personally are ones that I've been waiting for in like an all in one package when it comes to doing like video editing, general admin work, and also a little bit of accounting. So when it comes to connectivity, you can connect up to three devices with two on Bluetooth and one via 2.4 gigahertz USB, which a lot of times is actually what I prefer on my everyday setup just to ensure the maximum amount of reliability. And when it comes to like the actual typing experience, I found that the keys all had perfect spacing and nice weight to it. And as someone who usually uses like the first party keyboard, it also has a lot of important features outside of the comfort, including the backlit keyboard aspects. I edit a lot at night and not having a backlight key keyboard is a deal breaker for me and with the ambient sensing it is able to adjust accordingly and give me the maximum battery life possible while also adjusting the brightness based on the scenario. The battery life also lasts up to six months and recharges via USB type C. And there is also a software that is available on Windows and Mac that allows you to go ahead and customize up to 20 different keys and shortcuts of your most used apps on the HP AC to be able to change like the different backlight features or also be able to quickly access the apps and commands that you use the most. There's also a button right here that allows you to lock your computer with just the press of a button. When it comes to the HP 935 Creator Mouse, I find that the ergonomics are nice, the design is very minimal and goes with the keyboard. And on top of that, there are seven programmable buttons and a hyper fast scrolling wheel with a button right here that allows you to also adjust your mechanical scroll settings. You can also connect it to multiple devices and use it across multiple ecosystems. So if you have like a work computer and also a home computer, you can use the same mouse and the battery life lasts up to 12 weeks. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the HP 975 dual mode wireless keyboard or the 935 mouse from HP, I'm going to drop a link down below and a huge thanks to them once again for sponsoring this video. So there are definitely a few key accessories that you should pick up for your desk setup in 2022 just to give it some new life, but also make like a huge improvement without breaking the bank. And one of which is picking up a desk mat. I feel like it's almost like getting a new wallpaper for your smartphone. It just gives it a whole new life. And you can pick options that are $200 for like genuine leather. And there has been a market of that out there, but there are also great options for desk mats that are either $5, 10 to $15 and also $30. And in fact, the one that I have right here and that you've seen on all my desk setups is from Ikea. It comes in at a price of like $25, I believe. And it has like this leather material that has like a bit of a flap here if you want to put some notes and store some stuff underneath it, but it also has like surrounding stitching, metal backing, and all this kind of comes together to bring you like a very durable desk mat, but there's also a bit of a lip on the front just to ensure it doesn't slide around all over the place. Another must have though, not only for your desk setup, is releasable cable ties. In the past, I've definitely been set on like locking in my entire desk setup and like permanently attaching everything. But as someone who loves tech and constantly changes up the entire setup, it's important to be able to be adaptive and change whenever you need to. And having to take out cables from a permanent setup where you have to like cut the zip tie is super annoying. So these releasable ones are able to give you the strength of a typical zip tie, but you can just press the tab at the top and just take them out and retie them at any time, whether you need to tighten loosen or modify your setup. 
Another accessory that's been around for a very long time now is the Blue Lounge Sumo. And on the topic of cables, this is one that I think you can add to your desk at a relatively affordable price, and it uses a great material called Microsuction, which is like a semi-permanent but not really permanent type of adhesive that is able to sit on your desk and hold your cables effectively, but at the same time, if you want to take it off, you can do so without any damage. The concept is simple. It's a weighted piece that you just put on your desk, loop two cables through there, and if you have like an iPhone cable or like a hard drive cable, then you can ensure that it doesn't always slide off the end. One of the other biggest issues that I experience with like my home office, desk setup, and computer is just how much dust is everywhere. And especially with like a black desk mat and like keyboard, I can really see that dust piling up even after a few days of like not cleaning it. And so there are a few different options. One, you could just vacuum. The other option is to get like compressed air cans that are very popular for cleaning computers. But the thing is those are pretty expensive and they don't last very long. I feel like I use it a few times for videos and I need to go and buy a new one. And so I actually found this product recently and it is a rechargeable compressed air can. It doesn't have like a compressed air can element, but essentially it's just like a fan. You plug it in via USB to charge it. And if you need like dust off your desk or your computer, just like go like that sweep it and you're good to go. So yeah, for someone who like manages a lot of tech and films them all the time, but also just wants to like maintain my desk setup, this has been a great find. Another great accessory that you should have around your desk is a good screen cleaner. And I find that I don't really have to use this like too often, but it is still important because there are things that don't come off with a quick dust. Screen cleaners can really vary in price point. There are cheap ones, more expensive ones, but this one right here I find is kind of in the middle and it's actually what Apple uses in their own Apple store. So I use it on my Pro Display XDR, the nice OLED TVs that I want to be very careful with, but it does a very good job. It comes in small and large sizes, but this small one right here has actually lasted many months and it also comes with a small cloth. So yeah, it's really self-explanatory, but in terms of keeping my desk clean, having the air compressor as well as this is able to do that job. This right here is the SanDisk Pro Dock. So for like any creators out there, this is one of these accessories where as soon as you see it, you almost feel like you've got to have it. And that was definitely the case with me because for example, our current workflow right now includes recording on like a Sony FX3, sometimes a Canon, as well as like a red Komodo and the red Raptor. And that consists of multiple different card systems, including SD, CF Express, CFast, and it just gets a little bit overwhelming of having to change all different like card readers, making sure you have the maximum speed. So this is like the ultimate all-in-one card reader that also gives you a additional ports and power supply that really cleans up your entire desk setup but also ensures you're getting that maximum speed thanks to Thunderbolt 3. The best part about it is that you can actually pick exactly what type of setup that you would like. So in my case, I've chosen to have an SD and also two CF Express slots for the larger red cards, as well as a CFast for the red Komodo. So it's kind of like a central hub of where all of my cards go as soon as I've recorded a ton of footage. So you have like a lot of SD cards, you can pick to have like two of these types of um, card readers and they are able to pop in and out very, very easily. You just go like that. You can take this with you anywhere, utilize the cable still and have a portable card reader and they stack up pretty nicely. But as soon as you get home and want to have it back into like the central dock with everything else, you have that option as well. So when it comes to like a great wireless earbud option for like your desk setup or like your everyday workflow, there are quite a few options out there. There are headphone options that are very, very immersive. There's also truly wireless earbud, which I feel like is the best medium, especially with all the great offerings on the market today. And one of my favorites is from Sony. Recently, I've tested out a lot of wireless earbuds. Some of them are better for flights. Some of them are better for like making calls because of the mic quality. But one of the best ones that I've tested out overall is the WF-1000 XM4, which is an absolutely horrible name that I just can't seem to remember. But I do like some of the improvements that Sony has made in the past couple years when it comes to like the overall case size, the sound quality, the comfort, and also their focus on like 360 reality audio, as well as the microphone. 
So these are definitely not like the smallest earbuds. If you're looking for something that is very discreet to wear in public, there are better options out there. But at your own desk setup, if you want the best sound quality, great connectivity and good mic quality for like doing conference calls and Zoom for work and all that kind of stuff, then this is probably my favorite choice at the moment. The sound quality is excellent. You can go ahead and change the EQ and all those functions within the app, but it has a good driver size, a great amount of power, it is relatively clear and the bass is there as well. On top of that, when it comes to like comfort and seal, these utilize polyurethane foam, which kind of remind me of the Comply Foam ear tips that I reviewed on the channel way back in the day. They really give you like a customized and molded feel. And as you can see, it just has like that kind of memory foam type of characteristic. And that is able to just lock into the ear. And that is gonna give you a great level of comfort throughout many hours. If I had to pick one truly wireless earbud to use at my home office desk setup every single day, then this is going to be the one because all the major features when it comes to like sound quality and areas that you would value in a home setup all come together with the XM4s. So for anyone who's looking to like up their audio game, whether you want to do like a podcast, maybe just have like a really good microphone for conference calls, or perhaps you're like recording TikToks or YouTube videos, then this right here gives you like features that are kind of the best of the best at a much more affordable and easy to use price point. For those who have like watched my podcast, I use the uh, famous sure microphone the sm7b's and that needed like a cloud lifter as well as like a preamp and all that kind of stuff but what they released last year was the mv7 and the mv7x the difference is the mv7 just has xlr and the mv7x has both xlr and usb which is the model that i have right here and i just like how versatile it is but how it has like that sure radio sound signature at a smaller form factor while still giving you all the great characteristics of their flagship microphone that is essentially seen in every big podcast out there. You're hearing the audio from it right now and I have it connected to my mix pre preamp, but if you want to just connect it to the computer, I've actually done that many times as well via the micro USB. I would have liked to have seen USB type C, but what I loved about it is that you have the option to use it in the auto mode, but also customize all the different sound signatures, the characteristics, the volume and all that kind of stuff. And it actually has that light indicator right here. So you can kind of track it real time, but you also have the option to monitor it through the headphone jack on the back. So depending on what you need, you can either get the XLR only version, which is a little bit cheaper, or if you're looking for a great desktop microphone that is like not too big, but at the same time, easy to use, and you can take it with you and use it in versatile situations between USB and XLR, then the MVX7 is probably one of the best options overall that you can buy today. One of the type of products that I've seen a lot of in the last year though is gallium nitride chargers. It's been like a booming industry and a lot of these like high wattage chargers are coming in all different sorts of features, form factors and configurations. And the biggest thing is that they're able to charge your device safely, affordably at a high wattage. And if you have like the new MacBook or something, then having a high wattage charger is really nice. And so like this one right here, for example, is from Ugreen. It's a 100 watt charger, but at the same time you have three three USB type C ports, a USB type A port, and depending on what you plug into it simultaneously, it will adjust the wattage accordingly. So if you have like multiple devices, it will distribute the wattage evenly, but if you just have one port connected to like your MacBook, it will utilize that full 100 watts, which is awesome. It also comes in at a very portable size. You have like the flip prong, and it's a lot cheaper than Apple's option, and I find that having two or three of them is really, really handy, especially with the different desk setups, the office setup, up and also on the go. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and drop a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.